Ah, uh, hello, and welcome back to, uh, 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 Kerbal Space Program. Oh, where is this guy? Oh, he's all the way over here. I'm not worried about him. Uh, we got the Mun Relay, we got this guy orbiting Kerbin. Not that he needs to be up here, but it's okay. And we got our lander. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back and get our brave, our brave boys off the planet. Um, yes, the man, where we planted two flags that are probably going to blow over. Alright, how much energy we got in this sucker? More than enough. Alright, um, we got to launch to the left to match. Long boy, I don't have mech jeb. I installed mech jeb, but I don't have mech jeb equipped on this lander, so this is all flying by wi wire. I'm gonna shoot straight up for a minute. Tab over to map. the wrong way. That's the wrong way. That's the right way. Alright, we need to adjust our inclination down. And yeah, it doesn't take much fuel to get off the mun, as you can see, we're already way high up. Uh, we're trying to get back in touch. Okay, what's his? 117, we need to go higher. Go like 125. Alright, and then we gotta adjust downwards. No, no, cancel, cancel, do not warp there. Out of maneuver, okay. Got a pop bar. Rotational period down. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong slider. Oh, that's the wrong slider. Can this thing just not grab the sliders, please? I'm very good at making maneuver nose as you can see. Okay, that'll do. Then just drop it some. You have to do several orbital inclination changes at this intersection here to get down to it. That is fine. See, look how easy it is to get off the mun. You don't even need that much fuel. How much fuel do we have? 1400? Oh, more than enough. Got many a many a mono propellant if we want it. Look at that, he's so good. Good little Yander. Yes, he it is. It's a good little Yander. Oh no, I didn't want to eat. Okay, I wanted to. There you go. Just press C. No, C doesn't work. There we go. Look, we were just on that, Bill! Yes, we were, Jebediah. Wrong thing. There we go. Alright. 
They're heading to the maneuver. It takes long because we're hardly moving at any appreciable speed. Alright, it's at 8 seconds, so we gotta start to burn it around 4 seconds. There we go. Jump to the uh, periapsis and maneuver to dump our apoapsis down. Okay, bump us to that maneuver, please. Wow, this shit moves fast. All right, this thing shouldn't take but a second to accomplish. Here we go. Hello, woo! Alright, we're looking good and fancy. Now we just gotta fix our orbital inclination. Get it more in line with that of the ship we're trying to catch. So what we're currently doing is we're moving at a slower orbit than it. We don't want to be a slower orbit, we want to be a faster orbit to catch it. But that orbital trajectory looks good. So we will fast forward to it. Form it. And then we will shorten our trajectory when I when I when we get these guys back to Earth, okay? Man, you picky. That's a relatively good orbital pitch. Add a maneuver here to dump our peri- Oh, that's a lot. Hang on, I need to see that is. Switch to, I need to see what its uh, periapsis is. Hey guy, what's your periapsis? 115 and 117. Okay. Go, tab on back over. All right, go back to the maneuver node editor. So we got dumped up periapsis up. Up to like 105. Then we'll drop our apoapsis down as well. Boom, done. Alright. So we're at our apoapsis now, so we've got to come down to the periapsis, add a maneuver node, and drop the apoapsis down to a near equal position. Whoa, much. Right there's good. It's on the maneuver node. Warp to within an inch of it. Orientate on it. Oh, I don't need much. Just seven meters a second of delta V.
All right, there we go. Jumped rid of that. All right, so now got that set as our target. Oh, I could have done that to see its epilepsies. All right, so now we got to watch this to see. Um, if I had mech jab, I could match the plane of the target. So I just kind of have to eyeball it. Our plane's off by a little bit, but if we get close enough, that's not going to matter. Alright, so, now what we do is we just zoom out. You see, this is where we match at our intersection, the separation. That's where our target is, but we're going faster than it, or slower. I'm not sure which. Faster. We should be catching up to it. Yes, so see, we already got another intersection coming up. All right, we'll be separated by 12 kilometers. That's a lot. Um, so now we got to do is pop a maneuver node here for our apoapsis out. So we get some more matching apoapsis. Our target's apoapsis. If I can find it. Our target's periapsis. Our target's apoapsis is 117. Oh, that's a bit much. And it's descending 150. If we pop that to 115, that nets us still behind on the maneuver, but that's okay. Swap us down, down to there. So, over to the maneuver. And warp to here. Oh, you guys don't know uh, space terminology. Apoapsis is the furthest distance, as you can see down here, in your orbit from the object you're orbiting. And the periapsis is the closest distance. Yes, all very technical sciencey stuff. Alright, we now have an apoapsis of that. So now we're getting a second intersect. It's good. Um Fast forward the time and see where we get with this. Okay. There. Target will be in front of us, or on the second one, the target will be behind us. So if we pop a maneuver node here, just a minute in the feed, send our periapsis up. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh. Very close. Okay. Separation four kilometers. I'd like to get it less than that. Ho ho ho! Oh, we can get close! Let's do it! Gotta be very precise with this sucker. This is a very minor orbital change. No, Mac jab required. Here we are. Oh, it's a be it's a thing of beauty. It's a truly a thing of beauty, I'm telling ya. He got a Scotsman in space with his wine. Ah, so good. Alright. Let's focus on flying these things, not drunk. Uh, let's... Warp to here. 
just an hour away. Alright, warp's complete. There's our target, two kilometers away at the moment. Get closer, we need, like, right here. Yeah, well, Lonely's accomplishing things, okay? Oh, we are so close! Hecking yes! Uh, target? Approaching the target at 5 meters a second, I'd like to be going faster. Okay, back to docking. Give this thing a self-piloter. Hmm. This means this thing is going to become space debris. Lower our velocity. Time up. Get close. Over. I bring normal targeting velocity off. Did we run out of juice? No? Why can't I move? Oh, because we're in docking. We have to staging. Okay, dump on target. I suck at that. Gotta cancel the relative velocity. Gotta line it up on prograde or retrograde. Go. Oh. Comparative to target. Canceling our relative velocities. Moving towards it at a nominal speed of 10 meters a second. Going back to docking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I want to be firing on the. Whoa, but. Oh, hey. Okay. That on target. Go. Getting that a little close. Good. All is good. It's hard to see in the dark, but we can see it. Lower us to five meters a second, please, before we have an impact. Actually, just stop us completely before we have an impact. That would be great. All right, we're here, guys. We made it back. Woo All right. Get you out, Bill. If I was actually using docking ports, that would be one thing. But we're not. Alright, so we can attempt to do a couple of things with this. We can just leave this lander orbiting up here. Oh, what, what button did I press? Get... Hmm. 
Stop that. I'm already staging. There we go. Loading it all into the bottom tank just so I can see how much we've got. There we go. Alright, let's get Jebby out. All right, we're in. All right, so, woo, we're here. And it's about to drift into us slowly. Close the antenna. All right, guys, we have a couple of options here. As you can see, we have a meteoric buttload of Delta V. Uh, what do we do with this? Do we just leave the lander in orbit? Or do we leave this in orbit around the moon to use later? Potentially? It has no docking port, so it's kind of space trash. Hmm. I think we leave it as is. Let's cruise past it. What's our orbit look like? Uh, a little bit off. Nothing we can't handle, though. Yeah, I really don't know, uh, what are the dogs. This is beyond me. I was homeschooled. And no, I didn't go homecoming with my mom. Not how it worked. Alright, we're gonna leave it orbiting. Maroon and dark gray. I don't know, it sounds pretty cool. Um, not terrible. Let's get ourselves ourselves a mild arrow break going on. Almost mild. Well, that's a bit much. Much. Oh. Alright, well, let's just go with, you know, close. How close we are to the lander with that. Mess it up. Yeah, I would go with the maroon. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it's gonna be a shame to dump this sucker behind. Got a nice command module. We had a nice Saturn V like mission. It was great. Alright, let's uh, pop over to our maneuver. In behind our wonderful lander. Wherever I dumped it, I don't see it now. All good. All right, it's in one minute. That's a seven second burn? Wow, that's cheap. We have so much fuel in this command module, it's great. We could use this sucker to get to the moon if the uh, lander wasn't stacked on behind it. Uh, hmm. 
I don't know which is better, Weather the Dog. Uh, I like the International Harvester one. But Badass, I don't know, are you an edgy person? That's the question. Generating 5k. These ones are k or 500k. And of course, we got the high gain of 15g. Alright, well, we're nearly to the Manovar. Gotta pop it like four seconds. And I failed. I already passed because I didn't. Active. This. Get rid of this, thank you. There we go. We'll have a little bit of arrow breaking. All right. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me, Water. All right. Bye bye, man. Alright. We're past our apoapsis or heading towards it? Oh, we're past. Okay. Alright, so dump over here. Periapsis. Add a maneuver. Bring our orbit down. Settle on the maneuver. And warp to here. We're on our way back, guys! Woohoo! It's Kerbin, guys. Look. Oh, we getting close fast. Oh, boy. And we are on the dark side. How much energy we have? All the energy. Uh, let's fast forward till we enter the atmosphere and get closer to our maneuver node for arrow breaking. Alright, we're about to leave the confines of space. You guys start the sucker at 11 seconds. And we have entered the atmosphere. Barely. I don't think we'll see any heating. We're not going that deep in. Our periaps is 66. Yeah, we shouldn't see any heating. We're barely touching. We can try and land at KSC. It's going to be difficult, but we can do it. We just keep bringing our, uh... Bringing that in. Oh boy. Okay, go to prograde. Dump on that. Coming in fairly shallow, so I want that sticking out pretty far. I want to make sure we don't hit those mountains. We can always slow down more. Okay. Alright! We are fairly settled. We only have 200 meters a second of delta V left, so it did take all of the fuel in here to get here, which is fine. I calculated properly. Totally, totally great. Uh, a spaceman here. That's me, spaceman. Here's a star man waving in the sky. 
<clears throat> ah, sorry, David's moving. All good. Might want to flip ourselves to retrograde in case we need to burn some extra density off. Not going that fast, but we are still at orbital velocities. I'm just trying to watch, you know, our trajectory line. Trying to land as close to the KSC center as possible. We don't have enough fuel to recreate SpaceX though, so. We try for a suicide burn, but if all else fails, we're just going to dump off and uh, use the parachute. And we're not even getting that much arrow breaking yet. Our trajectory is still out there. As we get deeper into the atmosphere, though, that'll change. They're authorizing that RCS for use. Yeah, see, like I said, that line's going to drop. Go back to prograde. Send it back out. Back to retrograde. Barely going to be cusping those mountaintops. Oh, we're heating. Oh, 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 oh. We're entering. Guys, we're entering the atmosphere. Probably gonna lose the solar panels, they can't handle that much heat. They okay, flip back to a prograde. Just that periapsis, because that's just gonna flip back to retro. I think that's just the fins that are heating. It's hard to tell though. The engine can tank more heat at the moment than anything else. Watch that line. It's gonna be close. I don't think we can really afford to do another flip and burn though. We're stuck with what we set it at. At this point, we're committed. I say that, though. Yeah, I, th I think we're fairly committed. If we flip this sucker back around again... The fact that we still have this much control is shocking. Each time we flip, we're dumping so much. Oh, we nearly- <laughs> We lost something. I think it was a fin. Yep, we lost a fin. We still have all my parachutes, it was just a fin. The engine's beginning to overheat, but that's okay. It can take it. We lost a fin. We burnt one up. Back to retrograde. We can't burn off. We can't burn off the parachute. All right, we're not landing at KSC. That's for sure. Kind of spreading the heat out around the ship as we kind of falter through the atmosphere. I don't want to lose any of my parachutes. I need them.
Oh yeah, we're not landing anywhere near KSC, guys. We entered the atmosphere way too soon. Can't lose that. Parachute, guys. Gotta keep turning it away from the energy. It might have been better with a sharper inclination for re-entering the atmosphere. Because we're spending a lot of time in the heat. Yeah, we're not landing near KSC, I'm afraid. Uh, stream's still good for me. But I'm the streamer, so haha. -ha. doesn't have much lift but we might be able to fly it a little bit all right that's the last of the engine power breaking free bye little parts There they go, they're gonna go into the ocean. Bye bye, guys. There they went. Goodbye. Well, I can say I at least tried to land. Free drogue shoot seems to work pretty well, though, for slowing this sucker down. We didn't even need the ablative heat shield, we barely used any of it. There's the moon, or else that's Minmus, I can't remember what- No, that's gotta be Minmus, the moon's too far, or too close to be that small. And now the main parachute will guide us into land safely. At a healthy 9 meters a second. Which is actually pretty darn fast. Well, we survived. This and can move in the water is hilarious. All right, back to the space center tracking station. Recover the ship so we can get our peeps back. That thing's just stuck in orbit. All right, got our moon our relay. Alright, so now we gotta think about what the next mission is that we launch. Uh, we could very well launch another satellite towards the, the sun. Breaking on my end? Yeah. 